Okay, I've got command of evidence quantitative with a graph here. So let's just see if we can figure out something about the idea of the graph first. We have characteristics of the banks of Provo River downstream from the dam. And we have an area, and we have different years. So grass cover, bare soil, forest cover. So what's happening to the forest cover? It's going down over time downstream from the dam. What's happening to the bare soil? The bare soil is going down, but it kind of went up again, but it's lower than it was. And how about the grass cover? The grass cover is going down. I'm sorry, did I confuse that? Look, hard to tell apart. I'm gonna assume this is the grass cover, actually. It looks like the forest, but I'm gonna assume that's the grass cover. So the grass cover is going up, the bare soil and the forest coverage is going down in square areas, square meters. Uh, all right. The choice describes the data from the graph supports the colleagues conclusions. We'll have to figure out what their conclusions are. So the Jordan L Dam was built on the Provo River in Utah in 92, or scientists Martinez and colleagues tracked changes to the environment on the banks of the river downstream of the dam, including how much grass and forest cover were present. They concluded that the dam changed the flow of the river in ways that benefited grass plants, but didn't benefit trees. So, all right, let's go back. Now, now we can figure out which one's grass. So if it benefited the grass plants, this one is benefited, right? And I'm gonna assume that must be the grass because the grass got benefited, okay? The forest went down, so it was negative for the forest. Okay, so now even though the colors both look black in the legend, I think I can figure that out correctly. Okay, so they concluded the jam benefited the grass but didn't benefit the trees. Okay, so what data will support that? The lowest amount of grass cover was 58,000, and the highest for so that says nothing about the changes or benefiting grass or forest. This is just a snapshot. Can't deduce change or benefits over time from a snapshot. Okay, there was more grass cover. Then the forest cover in 1987. So, okay, and this difference increased dramatically in 93 and again in 2006. So is that true? Was there more grass cover than forest cover in 87? No, there is actually more forest cover in 87. So the direction of change is good in B, but the fact at the beginning here is wrong. C. There was less grass cover than bare soil in 1987, but more grass cover than bare soil. So wait, the comparison here we're looking for is grass versus forest or trees. We don't really care about the soil for our purposes. So this is irrelevant. D, grass cover increased from 87 to 93 and from 93 to 2006, whereas forest cover decreased in those periods. That's true. The graph shows that. It's true to the graph, and it answers the question. It's relevant to the question. So remember, on these graph or quantitative questions, we want two things. Is the answer relevant, and is it factually correct relative to the table and the graph? So it's easy to kind of check whether it's correct to the numbers, but you also have to make sure it answers the question. It's relevant. Notice two answer choices. One was not relevant. One was not correct to the graph. Both can exist. You need to find both to be true.